Welcome New Bethel to, to Sunday, this Sunday. Thank you for being here on the airways and in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for letting us be here one more Sunday, God. We thank you. We thank you for the glorious Easter Sunday service that we had, and we thank you for today, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We welcome you into our, this service, Father, and we welcome you into our hearts and our minds so that we will receive the word that you have set for us today, Father God. We thank you for everything that you've done for us this day and everything yet to come, Father God. We give your name the highest praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Just a little talk with Jesus makes everything all right. Hallelujah, God, we give you glory this morning. We give you praise, hallelujah. Yes, I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. Come on, y'all, help me sing it. Help me sing it. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus, but took, Jesus me in. took me in. And then a little light from and heaven. I don't know about you, you'll find that if you talk to your friends and your family and those that you think mean you some good, don't always do nothing for you. But if you'll have a talk with Jesus, I guarantee he will make it all right. 
Our scripture reading from today comes from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. And it's titled, Faith Triumphs in Trouble. Come on now. Still the question is, where do you put your faith? Is it in Jesus? Knowing that if you have a little talk with him, <laughs> he'll make it all right. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Verse 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through him whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us <laughs> let us pray Heavenly Father we stand in your presence on today God just acknowledging that you are God that you are omnipotent and omniscient God, that you know who we are, where we are, how much we love you, how much we don't think of you sometimes. God, you know it all, and yet you still love us. You loved us so much that you gave your son for us, that we might have a right to eternal life. And on today, we are grateful for who you are. Because we didn't know we needed a savior, but you gave us one anyway. Now, God, on today and even from henceforth, we ask that your spirit just manifest yourself in this place, in all of these earthen vessels who have gathered to praise and worship your name. For you are our God and we are your people, God. We submit to your will on today, knowing that no matter what we go through, you've given us your spirit that we might be more than conquerors. God, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, and we acknowledge your presence, your power, and your graciousness. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's give God some praise. But it is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand. He is truly worthy to be praised. So we're going to bless the Lord today and we're going to give thanks and glory to his honor. Let's do.
Don't stop praising him. Amen. We serve a worthy God. We serve a good God. Amen. Amen. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, is there anybody else glad that we can rejoice in the house of the Lord one more time? Oh, give him some praise. Don't be stingy with it. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Amen, amen. God bless you, New Bethel. For those that are watching, for those that are watching via Facebook, uh, we invite you to share uh, this broadcast. Might want to bring the monitors down just a little bit. We want you to share this broadcast. Share it, share it. Sharing is the new evangelism. Amen? Amen, amen. Listen, I have a few announcements and and we're going to continue on with the service. First of all, I want to thank all of you that came out to the uh, Easter service that we had in the parking lot. Man, we had a time in the Lord. If you did not show up for that, you missed the tree. Amen? Amen. So we, we invite you to uh, come out and fellowship with us in the parking lot when we do it again. That's not going to be our last time. That was our first time, and I think things went really well. So we just thank God for all those that were working behind the scenes to make this happen, the sound and uh, the musicians and all those that were a part of the social media ministry to bring that service to you on last Sunday. Amen. Amen. Listen, we want to continue to celebrate with those that are having birthdays this month and anniversaries amen if you are having a birthday this month or had it we want to send a happy birthday to you and congratulate those that are having wedding anniversaries amen amen listen uh, just a quick reminder we are in the process of putting together a cleanup Day. We're going to have a cleanup day here at the church. I believe that's the fourth Sunday. I mean, four, excuse me, first Saturday, the fourth Saturday. Amen. Listen, if you have loved ones that are have been laid to rest on the grounds here, uh, we ask that you come out and help us to uh, refresh the the graveyards. Amen. We want to clean things up, uh, flowers that may have been out there for a while, uh, just uh, re resurfacing the grave sites. We ask that you come out and participate. Share this with uh, family and friends that may be in other um, parts of the state or out of state if they want to come back home and help out and let's beautify the graveyard and also the grounds here at the church. Amen. So if you want to come out and, and you have uh, some skills in, in the garden, whatever, come on out and, and show us how it's supposed to be done. And if you can't do that, we got plenty of work for you to do on the inside. We can wipe down some of the walls and doors. You know, re recently we had some construction with the flooring in the fellowship hall. So there's still dust that's floating in the air. And um, nowhere in the world our sexton can do all that work by themselves. Amen? Because that's construction work. So we ask that you come out. We can wipe down some doors and walls, get some of the loose dust that may still be lingering. Amen? Amen. And listen, on, also on the fourth Sunday, we will be celebrating Women's Day. Uh, Minister Esty, she will come shortly to give you a little bit more details around that. But meanwhile, we are planning to reopen the church on next Sunday. Amen. We are looking. Oh, you can do better than that. 
we are looking forward to reopening the doors. Now, it won't be like it used to be. We do have to put some restrictions on. So we do have some COVID protocols that you have to go through, get your temperature check, have a little screening question. I believe we have a few people in the, in the congregation today that went through it. So we are tweaking the system, making sure everything is right. And of course, we're going to always make adjustments where needed. Amen. So we will have a, a way for you to sign up. We will use the sign up genius. Uh, so we'll get information out to you this week about uh, signing up. Now, we still don't know the numbers yet, maybe some 50, 60 people. But when you sign up on sign up uh, genius, you only need to put one name in a slot. OK, all right. Don't force two names. All right. We'll get you more instructions on that. But please be on the lookout for that link. And we want to get people registered to come back into the building and we can start having worship in the building again. Amen. And at this time, we're going to have Minister Estes to come give us a little bit more detail around the women's uh, day. Praise the Lord. So as Pastor Ely um, said, we will have we will be celebrating Women's Day on the fourth Sunday of this month. The assessment is fifty dollars. So if you can give more, please do so. Um, we always welcome more. We will check. We like the kind that fold, but we will take the kind that jingles as well. And men, we expect for you to do your part also, because we always help y'all. Uh huh. Um, so we uh, we will be accepting the um, Women's Day offering every Sunday here at the church. You can drop it off along with your ties. We just ask that you mark the envelope Women's Day. We also will be accepting it on Giveify. There is a, a section there that says Women's Day on there, so you can more than welcome. You're more than welcome to do that. The Women's Day colors are pastel this year. That means pastel attire with white pearls and accessories pastel dresses suits whatever with white pearls and accessories um so please come out and celebrate with us on the fourth sunday with that and as pastor has said there will be some restrictions due to COVID, but we will be um celebrating women's day here at the church amen thank you One more quick uh, reminder, I would not go through this service without giving you an opportunity to worship through giving. Amen? You know that worship is part of giving and giving is a part of worship. Amen? Amen. So listen, for those that are watching on Facebook, we uh, still have give a fire. You can give. Uh, online and those that may have entered the building we have um, a designated spot to give and if you haven't if you missed that designated area to give just raise up your offering and your tithes we will have somebody somebody to come by and collect those all right god bless you
Keep your hands in the sanctuary. There's a lifting of my eyes. where your help come from. Come on, lift up a praise if you know where your help comes from. All of my help comes from the Lord. Ah, uh, y'all been a little stingy with your praise this morning. Didn't God wake you up this morning? Start you on your way? Didn't he breathe breath in your body? Somebody ought to give him a praise. Somebody ought to give him a praise from the belly. My God. Woo. After all you've been through. Give it to him. Let him have it. the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the glory. Yes, sir. That's 
what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Give it to him. Yes, sir. Now. I feel better now. I thought I was the only one to feel thankful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord. You know, we've been through so much over these last 15 months or so. But the light is at the end of the tunnel. And you're still here. With breath in your body. You're still walking around. COVID hasn't shut you down. My, my. Leave that alone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We did come into the house to give him praise and honor and adoration. So that's all what we're doing. We're just reflecting on his goodness. Amen. 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 Listen, I'm not, not going to be before you long, but... If you have your Bibles, turn with me to 1 John chapter 1. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 1. And if you're able to stand for the reading of the word, please do. If not, we understand. And while you're at 1 John and 1, just... Uh, slide your finger over or down to uh, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 11. Amen. If you have it, say amen. If not, say wait on me. Amen. And the word reads, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. Chapter 2, 11. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth because the darkness have blinded his eyes. I want to talk to you just for a little while from the subject, now what? Now what? Pray with me. Father God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for another day's journey. God, we thank you for how you kept us through danger seen and unseen. Now, Lord, I ask that you would just turn the spotlight on me. God, look at my heart. Look at my motives, Lord God. If anything is not right, God, remove it right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that this word would touch the, the hearts and minds of those that will hear it. 
and that day would be better for this word. It is in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated where you are. Now what? Now what? We have just completed one of the most climax events on the Christian calendar. We have witnessed Holy Week services from a variety of churches in person and online. We have been cheering for the little children as they break free to find plastic eggs with candy and other prizes. We have worshiped and praise our Lord Jesus Christ through song. We have lifted our voices to the heavens outside in the parking lot with a canopy of blue skies as a perpetual ceiling over our heads. Some of us have witnessed sunrise services and early morning breakfast all in the name of Jesus, to echo the truth that he has risen. Now what? Where do we go from here? How do we keep that spiritual high throughout the year? Everyday life pales in comparison to the resurrection of Jesus. Yet, that's where we live isn't it? In the everyday of life. In life dealing with disappointments and misdealt hands of life. Except for a few high moments here and there, most days are mundane and routine, anything but extraordinary. Am I right about it? Oh, come on, you, you, can, you can talk back to me, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. As we prepare to continue in the service of the Lord in the coming weeks and months, we must be aware of our actions towards one another and works for our Lord and Savior. We can easily, little by little, go through the motions where the transforming power of the resurrection is dumbed down to a single day on the calendar rather than a conduit to the renewal of life. Don't fall into the post-Easter doldrums. Mm -hmm. 21st chapter of John, Peter announced to the others, say, I'm going fishing. Some took, some took that to mean I'm going back to fishing, back to my old way of life. In other words, I'm going back to my comfort zone. And the other disciples responded, we're also coming too. Be careful of the examples you set to those that labor with you, especially if you're a leader in the body of Christ. While John and the other disciples had been laboring with Christ, they now find themselves with nothing to do. Anybody ever been like that? You've been so busy doing this, that, and the other, and now you have nothing to do. So they are going back to what they deem familiar. So it is a valid question, now what? As we look back into the historical text and time, it is noted that many of John's readers were now second and even third generation Christians. The thrill of the first days had to some extent had passed away. In the first days of Christianity, there was a glory and a splendor. 
But now Christianity has become a thing of habit, tradition, half-hearted devotion. John was writing to those that first felt the thrill of being a Christian. John was now writing to those that first felt the thrill that was gone. That flame of devotion had died to a trickle. Yes, you all know how it is when you start something new. The passion is driving you to get to your desired goal or destination. Anybody can relate to that? Yeah, yeah, you, you couldn't wait to get to work uh, to start that new job. You couldn't wait to call your new bae and spend time with them. <laughs> you couldn't wait to drive your new shiny car, but in time the shine begins to lose its luster. The early Christians were, were plagued with two pressing issues, lack of energy and enthusiasm. See, this came about because they lost sight of their distinctiveness as disciples of Jesus Christ. So in other words, don't lose sight of who you are in the eyes of Christ. Oh, y'all need to help me out here. Yeah, help me out because I'm getting ready to take my seat in a little bit. When you begin to call, when you've been called out by God to serve him, there is something on the inside that won't let you rest until that job is done. Anybody know what I'm talking about? God will keep you up all night long. He will chase you all week long. He will not let you rest until you do what he called you to do. See, the early Christians lost their energy and enthusiasm. They blended into the world around them. New Bethel, I challenge you not to fall back into old habits as we approach a new season when returning back to the church house. While we'll be for, uh, forced to approach service in new ways, but the gospel message will stay the same. Anybody know that the gospel will always be the same? No matter how we deliver it, it's the same word. It's the same delivering word. It's the same saving word. Am I right? See, you should be on God that you don't become the victim of lack of energy and lack of enthusiasm because they're both still alive in the church today. See, anybody excited for what God has in store for you and for us? Oh, you need to give God some praise if you have took a glimpse into your future and understand what God has for us. See, we must keep the eternal flame of the word of God embedded in our hearts. We must keep the celebration of the resurrection, not only through the season of Easter, but through the changing seasons of our lives. Because we are going to go through changing seasons. So we better keep that excitement and that enthusiasm. See, John, he started out by saying that which was from the beginning, that which we have seen and heard, we declare to you. Anybody ready to declare some things that you also may have fellowship with us? That's our joy may be filled. Anybody need your joy to be filled today? Yes, yes, yes. From, see, from the outset, John wants to make it clear. He and his followers are writing from a firsthand experience. We declare to you. That's which we have seen and heard. Not long after the resurrection, Jesus told his followers, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You will be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. See, that's the answer to the down what? He wants you to be witnesses. 
A witness is one who testifies to what he's seen or heard. And just like the trial of George Floyd, their eyewitnesses are coming forth to tell their account of what they've seen and heard. Do I have any witnesses for Jesus Christ? Can you testify on his behalf? Can anybody say he's a good God? Can anybody say like in Psalms 34, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, he is. What have you heard? What have you seen? What has he done for you? What do you know about my Jesus? I know that our Jesus, our God is a good God. Not only is he good, he is our creator. He is God Elohim. Yes, he is. He created everything. He said in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He is Abba. He is your father. Don't you need a heavenly father? He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord provide. Yes, he's provided for me. He's given me a roof over my head, a little change in my pocket. Yes, Lord, he is Jehovah Shalom. He is the Lord of peace. He give me peace during a weary time. He give me peace in uncertain time. He is the peacemaker. He is El Elyon. He is the most high God. He is the sovereign God. He can do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. He don't have to ask for your permission. He is God. He's the most high God. Anybody want to serve a God like that? Yes, sir. And, he's, and he is the God that heals. Yes, he is. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the healer. He's healed my body. He can heal your body. Whatever you stand in need of, God is a healer. God's got it. God's got it. <laughs> yes, sir. Do I have any witnesses for Jesus? Do I have a witness over here? Do I have a witness over here? Where are my witnesses for Jesus? Yes, Lord, give him the praise. Yes, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now what? Now you know what to do. Yes, sir. You know what to do now. You need to be a witness for Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the now and what time. After all we've been through, Jesus said, I want you still to be a witness of my goodness, my grace, and my mercy. He wants to let, you, let us know that he's going to never leave us or forsake us. Because he's the sovereign God. The most high. He's our healer. Our protector. Our provider. Our way maker. And he is our right on time God. Yes he is. Thank you Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Listen, for those that are watching on Facebook, and you don't have a relationship with this God that I'm talking about, we invite you to develop a relationship with him. Amen? I know we are remote and but you can send us a message and say, hey, I want to have a relationship with this God. Matter of fact, right where you are, and even those here in the sanctuary. If you don't know God in the pardon of your sins, we invite you to come. Yes, give your heart to Jesus. Amen. Matter of fact, all heads are bowed. I want you to... Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know you love me, for you died on the cross for my sins. Right now, by faith, 
I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart, cleanse me, and make me whole. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, if you prayed that prayer for the very first time, and you believe it in your heart, then you are saved. Send us a message on Facebook, YouTube, email. Let us know that you're part of God's family now. Amen. We have prayer warriors praying for you. Just send us your prayer requests. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. just want to pray for us right now yes Jesus our Savior yes Father God we thank you for this message God we thank you for your words going forth. God, we pray that it would not just fall on the earlobes of someone, but let it penetrate the heart, the soul, the mind. That these words would find comfort to someone. That these words will continue to be true throughout this week and weeks to come. Now, God, I pray for those that are going through bereavement. I pray for those that are still battling sickness in their body. God, your word is still the same today, yesterday, and for the future. You said that you sent your word and you healed us of all of our diseases. God, we ask that those that are going through sickness to walk in divine healing right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, God, we know that you're the God that heals. We know that you're the God that set the captives free, be it mental illness. God set them free. God, be it a financial bind, set them free in the name of Jesus. God, do what you need to do in our lives right now. We are open canvas. Paint your picture of what you want us to be. Not our will, but yours in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, we thank you for the testimonies that will come forth. God, we thank you for testimonies that are received last week of families being restored, relationships being restored. Thank you, God. You're still working. You're still working in a pandemic. Thank you, God, for those that will receive new jobs and increase in salaries. Thank you, God, for those that will receive unexpected checks, God. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. Whatever you want to give us, we will take it. Whatever your people stand in need of, 
we know you're going to provide it. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Reverend Edward will come and close us out. God bless you. Well, you don't have to stop praising him just because it's time for the benediction. He is so worthy. <laughs> He's worthy to, to be praised. Come on, stand to your feet and praise him. brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely and whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise I'm gonna need you to think on these things and now sing with the choir if you agree that that's what you need to be thinking on and if you believe that the word of God is true, Hallelujah. why don't you sing with us? Hallelujah. Amen. It is so. He wrote it. I believe it. Amen. Amen.